What more do you think is on the road ahead? Well, we managed to gather most of the materials we need to build our our transmission structure for receiving the telluric waves. Mm -hmm. So we've gathered up several miles of wire and a number of poles and bought a bundles of cross arms, about thousands of insulators, and uh, so now we're ready pretty soon to start putting this the first one together. Mm -hmm. We have another one that's. Uh, the telephone lines are already partially intact, so we're working on that one also, but that's like a secondary process, and then we've also been given a five-mile underground cable facility to experiment with, and oh, that really? one, yeah, that one we're already starting to receive signals out of, so. Hmm. So it's already operational? Well, it's inherently operational because the cable's already there, you know, and it's paired out so that, uh, you know, we can start hooking receiving devices to it. I demonstrated uh, it should be coming out pretty soon that an AM radio receives a lot better out of the traveling waves that are flowing in the underground cable than it does with its own antenna structure in, in the air above ground. So it really? shows that, well, shows better, that, better that the AM radio... Uh, as I've always been pointing out, the AM radio tower transmits two signals. It transmits a telluric one into the Earth, and it transmits an electromagnetic one into the boundary between the Earth and the ionosphere. This analysis of telluric waves, which required uh, the development of very special receiving equipment, very special antennas, uh, it is also a facility for uh, studying uh, high-frequency waves in the ionosphere, which again requires massive antenna structures, requires very special receivers that either have to be custom built or like the ones that I have from RCA, they have to be specifically designed for this purpose. Uh, they, they occupy four or five days of equipment, uh, you know, several hundred vacuum tubes or thousands and thousands of transistors. I had a parts inventory uh, value of at least a half a million dollars. I had oh, every resistor, capacitor, transformer, coil, tube, socket, connector, wire, uh, all military. All military or tel te bell telephone. There was no radio shaft junk or...